Welcome to this edition of Stony Brook's Newsbreak. I'm Imra Ahmed. And I'm Oluwatoyan Kubului. The trucker, the trucker strike that began as a protest to President Donald Trump's $355 million judgment is now movement against New York's parking, crime, and traffic. Wisconsin, Wisconsin trucker Chicago Ray abandoned his boycott on Monday, but a new boycott is gaining traction on social media. More truck drivers are responding to other problems in their commute to deliver goods in, into New York City. Their issues include high tolls, congestion, and crime into the city. The movement is popular with truckers all over the country. A University of Colorado student is facing murder charges in connection with the shooting death of his roommate and a friend. Nicholas Trayvon Jordan is being held on $5 million bail. He is charged with the murder of 24-year-old university student Samuel Knob and 26-year-old Celie Rain Montgomery. Police said the shooting occurred in a dorm on the Colorado Springs campus. The victims were found dead Friday and the campus went into a hour-long lockdown. Classes were canceled due to the shooting and the university scheduled a healing march in response. Jordan is being held in the El Paso County Jail. Stony Brook is hosting an open mic and spoken word competition tonight. Students will show performances and dance and music. This year's theme focuses on African Americans and the arts. It is sponsored by the Diversity Inter Inter Intercultural and Community Engagement Office. Black World Magazine and WSB radio station prizes will be awarded to the first, second, and third place performers. Some winners will be invited to perform on the WSB radio station. Performances in the competition place emphasize on identity and intersectionality, social justice, political values, and cultural, historical, and socioeconomic issues. The competition takes place in SAC Ballroom from 7 to 9 p.m. Stony Brook women's lacrosse new season is off to a great start with a double victory, greatly boosting team morale. In the first match against Dartmouth, Stony Brook secured a victory score of 18 to 11. Star midfielder Ellie Masra, Masera demonstrated exceptional dominance with her career best offensive performance. The competition against Bright was even more lopsided, with Stony Brook easily pulling away from their opponents to score a commanding 17 to 3 victory. Ellie delivered an electrifying hat trick, scoring within the first 13 seconds of the game. The team's momentum remains strong as they look forward to their next game against ASU on Friday. Thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of Stony Brook News Break. I'm Oluwatoyin Kupului. And I'm Emma Ahmed. See you next week, Seawolves. <laughs> <laughs>